Hello friends, this article is a right of reply for the mentioned companies. Opinion article, Indra, Stittle and Dominion deny the allegations. Stittle says it did not count votes. The ninth a military assault in Germany. The military did not size his events. They do not have service or offices in Frankfurt. George Soros has no interest in this company. They have no links with Stratmatic, SGO, Dominion or Indra. Indra also denies any interference in the elections. The President of the Federal Ele Election Commission speaks of widespread fraud. The new Pentagon chief tells Troop it's time to go home. One million people in Washington call for more justice in the electoral process. Let's start. The Spanish company Indra denies being behind an alleged fraud in the US elections and at the same time the Spanish company Citadel assures that it did not count votes in the US nor did the US military confiscate its service nor does George Soros participate in this company, although it claims that it provided four products and services for the US. For its part, the Dominion voting system claims that the, cl that the claims of electoral fraud conspiracies are absolutely, absolutely false. However, according to information published on the networks, the combination of the Dominion software with the Hammer and Scorecard Network turned thousands of Republican votes into Democratic votes. Whom to believe? You must understand that as a professional journalist I have to give all the patients I receive and I give each entity mentioned the opportunity to exercise its, its right of reply and rectification separating the statements from each of my own personal opinions. This diversity of opinions may increase the confusion of what is happening really, but which is already a lot. But this mess will become clearer as all the courts issue their judgments and the Supreme Court issues the final sen sentence. Denunciation and denial. Rudy Giuliani, the president's lawyer, denounced an alleged fraud in the count, linking it to Indra, but sources close to the Spanish company say it's another fake news. Indra, the Spanish technology multinational denies being behind an alleged fraud in the US elections, as denounced by former New York mayor Rudy Giuliani. In an interview with Fox News, Giuliani denounced an alleged fraud in the counting of votes, claiming that the company Dominion voting system could be hacked. Trump's lawyer also said that Dominion's is a company owned by another company called Starmatic, Smartmatic, I mean, through an intermediary company called Indra. According to Giuliani, Smartmatic was founded in 20. Zero 04. It was formed by three Venezuelans who were very close to the dictator Hugo Chavez. It was created to arrange elections. That is the company that owns Dominion. Also Dominion is Canadian and all its software is from Stomatic, he said, pointing out that the alleged fraud was carried out from Barcelona. However, sources close to Indra have denied to both properly, Spanish uh, paper. Any links with these companies and any interference in the elections? Indra has never deployed any electoral process management project with Dominion was Smatmatic, and it has never had any contractual or commercial relationship with these two companies, which are competitors of Indra. Indra has not intervened in any way in the past presidential elections in the, in the US, they point out. 
Citadel's denial. The U.S. military raided Citadel's servers in Germany, looking for evidence after the boat switching scandal, as published by Great Game India on Saturday. According to intelligence sources, the U.S. military raided Citadel's servers in Germany, looking for evidence of manipulation in the 2020 U.S. elections after Great Game India exposed in the boat switching scandal. According to Mrs. Sierra, the raw data of the server seized by the U.S. Army show that the president won by an overwhelming majority of 410 electoral votes. A federal lawsuit is expected to yield 1.2 million votes, which will move to Michigan to the president. However, a Citadel assure that Citadel servers and computers have not been seized by the U.S. military in Barcelona, Frankfurt or elsewhere. George Soros has no interest in the company and we have never been connected to him. We are not linked to Smartmatic, SGO, Dominion or Indra, nor we are linked in any way to Russia. These are some of the statements made by the Spanish company Citadel to the statements published in digital media and social networks around the world. Checking information for the US elections with discredit hoaxes is the title of the reply published by the said company dated Friday, November 13th, which I am obliged to publish to give the opportunity to exercise their right to reply and to rectify, not without mentioning what will the latest news on this subject have said. A Citadel's reply. After several statements published in digital media and social networks, Citadel wishes to clarify that, first, the technologies implemented by a Citadel in the US are hosted and managed within the US by its local subsidiary SOE software based in Tampa, Florida. Second, we do not tabulate or count votes in the United States. Third, we do not provide voting machines in the United States. Fourth, we do not provide internet voting to US jurisdictions during this election. Fifth, we do not have service or offices in Frankfurt. Sixth, no external service or computer has been seized by the US military in Barcelona, Frankfurt or elsewhere. Seventh, George Soros has no interest in the company and we have never been connected to him. Eight, we are not connected with Stomatic, SGO, Dominion or Indra. Ninth, we are also not connected in any way with Russia. Tenth, for the US general election, Citadel provided four products and services to cities, counties and states in the US. Each of these products and services provides information created and approved by each customer to voters or temporary election workers. Fourth platforms. First, election night reporting. ENR provides the election administration to citizens with an online display of the results of an election in real time through a multilingual platform and available in mobile version. During an election night, each election administration tabulates the votes using the physical machines of its tabulation provided, provider and uploads the result to a Citadel ENR -E system. All the servers that are being used for the US elections are physically located in the United States. Citadel does not tabulate or count any votes. Second, online training for polling station representatives. Citadel works with the electoral administrations taking their 16 training content to an online training platform. The, digi the digital the, di the digitation administrations taking their existing training content to an online training platform. The digitization of the training increases information retention, 
consistency and the possibility to track the progress of the trainees. All training content is provided and full, fully approved by each client. Third, border information portal. A border information portal is a tool used to create websites for election officials to provide important information about elections before, during and after the election. This tool allows voters to find out where they can vote available voting methods, receive information on identification or other requirements needed to vote, register to vote, view a sample ballot and more. All content on this website is provided and approved by each client. Fourth. Electronic Ballot Delivery EBD. This is a platform that allows st state election administration to securely deliver ballots to voters or those who ask to vote in advance. Each state has different laws and regulations regarding who can request their ballot through this system and how that ballot can be returned. All servers used by for EBD for US elections are physically located in the United States. What EBD does, does not do is allow voters to, bo to vote online or to tabulate or count votes. Replica of Dominion Loadups on Fox News reported that Dominion voting machines were used in 28 battleground states. According to Loadups, Texas denied certification of the Mercury Suite 5.5 of the Dominion voting system for use in Texas elections. Dominion voting systems categorically denies false claims about the problem of vote exchange with our voting systems. According to a joint statement from the federal government agency that oversees the election security in the US, the Department of Homeland Security Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, there is no evidence that any voting system has eliminated or lost votes, switched votes, or otherwise compromise, compromised. Government and private sec sector councils supported this mission called the 2020 elections, the most secure in US history. First, claims of vote suppression or vote switching are completely false. An unsubstantiated claim of the suppression of 2.7 million votes for Trump was the, that was posted on the internet and disseminated on social networks has been suppressed and discredited by independent fact checkers. Edison Research has refuted any claim that the company's data suggests voting irregularities, including vote switching. ER President Larry Rosing told the dispatched fact check Edison Research did not create such a report and we are not aware of any election fraud. Claims that 941,000 votes for the President Trump were eliminated in Pennsylvania are impossible since Dominion only serves 40, 14 Commonwealth counties. Together, those counties produced 1.3 million votes, representing a 76% border turnout. 52% of those votes went to President Trump, which is equivalent to 676,000 votes than that the company system processed for the president in Pennsylvania. Second, Dominion is not a partisan U.S. company. Dominion has no ownership relationship with any member of the Pelosi family, the Feinstein family, or the Clinton Global Initiative, Smartmatic, Seattle, or any link to Venezuela. Dominion works with all political parties. Our customer base and our government outreach practices reflect this non-partisan approach. As reported by the Associated Press, Dominion made an a, a online philanthropic commitment at the Clinton Global Initiative meeting in 2014. By, but the Clinton Foundation has no interest or involvement in Dominion's operations, the non-profit organization confirmed. The meeting included 
the partisan attendees focused on international democratic democracy building. There have been no raids on Dominion's service by the US military or otherwise, and Dominion has no service in Germany. Third, there were no bugs in the Dominion software and the parts were accurately tabulated. The results are 100% auditable. There are no credible reports or evidence of software problems. County and state officials use the Dominion equipment to tabulate ballots. Human errors, human errors related to reporting tabulated results have occurred in some counties, including some that use Dominion equipment, but the county took appropriate, appropriate procedural actions to address these errors prior to the tabulation process. The Michigan Secretary of State's office provides a fact sheet that denies false or misleading claims about voting in Detroit, as well as an incident of user error in entering counting. Georgia's Secretary of State has also repeatedly stated throughout the recount that as work progresses, I want to assure Georgia's voters that all legal votes were cast and counted accurately. Updates. Fourth, there were no unauthorized or last-minute software updates. A statement about software updates made by made the night before the election day are 100% false. Both Spalding County and the Georgia Secretary of State had have verified that a such unauthorized updating is impossible and b. Actual records of equipment in county custody determined that an, at, an update was not made by the night before the election. Georgia's voting system implementation manager, Gabe Sterling, has independently and unequivocally refuted in inaccurate claims of a machine upgrade on the eve of the election. He stated in his daily press conference on November 9 that nothing was done to the to the poll path system after October 31, when the voter files were updated as, as part of the normal procedure. Fifth, there are no problems with the use of Sharpie pens. Election officials provide approved writing instruments to mark ballots to all in-person voters who use hand-marked paper ballots. Dominion voting system machines can read all these instruments, including Sharpies. According to the, the, to the DHS Infrastructure Security and Cyber Security Agency, if a pilot has problems that affect its ability to, to be scanned, it can be counted manually. The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors assured voters that makers do not invalidate ballots. Dominion state that Sharpie pens are safe and reliable for use on ballots and are recommended because of their fast drying ink. 6. Claims of election fraud conspiracies are 100% false. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency CISA, has discredited numerous claims, included, including claims of the existence of a secret CIA program for both fraud called Hammer and Scorecard. All U.S. voting systems must ensure that they operate accurately and reliably as intended by the U.S. federal EAC and state certification and testing requirements. Electoral safeguards from testing and certification of voting system to counting and auditing prevent malicious actors from tampering with the vote count and ensure that final vote counts are accurate. accurate. And read more from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Infrastructure Security and Cyber Security Agency. Widespread fraud. 
The chairman of the U.S. Federal Election Commission says that the 2020 U.S. elections are illegitimate because of widespread fraud. Federal Election Commission Chairman Trey Trainer believes that voter fraud is occurring in a state that are still counting ballots and that the 2020 U.S. presidential election is illegitimate. During an appearance on the Newsmax TV's National Report on Friday, Trainer said the places that places that not grant observers access to watch the vote counting process could be involved in voter fraud. I think there is election fraud in these places, he said. Otherwise, they would allow observers in. Despite winning, a court order which allows the Trump campaign to send observers to view to the, count, the vote count in Pennsylvania from a distance of six feet, Trainer said that the poll watchers have no be a, not been able to enter the polling places in any significant way. He said that when the observers were allowed to watch the separation poll moved away from the six foot the six feet requirement of the court order. Zombies in Detroit some 2,500 zombies registered in, to vote in Detroit. Detroit has more than 2,500 zombies, that people, registered to vote in the US elections, including, including a voter born in 1823, according to a lawsuit. The lawsuit was filed by the Public Interest Legal Foundation, an organization that has filed lawsuits across the country seeking to have jurisdictions keep their border list up to date. In December 2019, the foundation filed a federal lawsuit against the city of Detroit, claiming it failed to maintain a curate and up-to-date voter list. A federal lawsuit is making headlines alleging that thousands of people have died on the border list in Detroit. The Public Interest Legal Foundation filed a lawsuit in December 2019 against Detroit election officials, alleging that they failed to maintain a curate and up-to-date voter list. Call for electoral justice. Mass demonstration in Washington to demand justice in the election process. Tens of thousands of people gathered in Freedom Plaza in Washington on Saturday, joining other demonstrations around the country to show their support for the president and demand justice in the election process. Cal Kayleigh McKinney, Mc McKinney said there were one million people at the rally. The leader appeared by surprise in his car, smiling and waving to the tens of thousands of supporters gathered who responded by shouting, I love Trump, or four more years. The car then drove to the Trump-owned golf club. The president claims that there has been fraud and insists that Pennsylvania has won, even though the judges have dismissed his claims. The president tweeted about the lack of news coverage for the rally. How ironic that it was an Australian news can channel, Sky News, that produced a great video about the rally. Unfortunately, some people at the rally were later attacked by demonstrators from the two paid and violent organizations we all know. Countless, countless people with flags came out on Saturday to complain about alleged electoral fraud. Participants held up signs saying, Stop the steal, make America fair again, and Trump 2020. They marched from Freedom Plaza near the White House to the Supreme Court building on Capitol Hill. Before the march began, the crowd heard speeches from prominent Trump supporters, including Rep. Louis Gomez of Texas and My Pillow founder Mike Lindell. Other prominent figures included Re Republican Paul Goss Paul Gossar of Arizona and former president's advisor. Sebastian Gorka, who was also on the list of speakers. The caravan moved slowly 
through the crowd on its way to its golf course in Sterling, Virginia. A video on social networks showed the president wearing a red baseball cap, greeting his supporters from inside the president limousine. And that's all for today. Thank you for your patience, friends.